28 DSBH White Hawk by Jayco here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Immensely popular floor plan from the fastest growing lightweight out there right now. Um, and a lot of folks are more familiar with this than they really realize. The White Hawk is very much just the J Flight Ultralight, the J Flight being a Jayco that is the number one selling travel trailer out there for 10 straight years since 05 and counting. No one else has ever come close to that. And this is just the lightweight version of it. Um, we're going to get dug in here and keep in mind stuff like this outdoor refrigerator here. This is an optional piece of equipment. Not every single 28 DSBH we have is going to look exactly like the one in this video. I'll try to point that out as we go like I have here so that you understand. What is cool, every 28 DSBH White Hawk, every White Hawk period, is already ready for an outdoor refrigerator whether you get one uh, from the factory or not. That's what's kind of cool. Um, power awning here, which is doing an, an awesome job a minute ago, as you can see from the concrete, it is soaking wet out here because we had just like this surprise torrential downpour a moment ago that left us, which is actually a very good day to talk about a floor plan like this. More on that when we get inside. Push button power awning with full LED light stripping. Um, power awnings are virtually the standard today. They are, I think, now more the rule rather than the exception, but the quality of the uh, awning motor is still a huge variance in the business and likely always will be because there will be a factory that will build it a dollar cheaper. I can promise you there are cheaper lightweights out there. I have some less expensive brands here at our store, but it's not a White Hawk. It's not a Jayco. It doesn't have, I mean, there's a reason this has double the warranty of any other lightweight uh, at, at our dealership and virtually in the entire market with very few exceptions, guys. Um, Things like the better grade power tongue jack power awning, those sorts of upgrades are, are the reasons why. Now we do have a full front nose cap here, but we do maintain the diamond plate on a White Hawk. The nose cap, by the way, is one of those upgrades I was telling you about. A lot of brands have a cool nose cap. It goes all the way down to the tongue, and that's cool, but there's no method of stone deflection. With this stone guard here, we still have stone deflection, so our cap is not going to get chipped up, dinged up, scarred up. You're not going to worry about that gigantic baggage door out here and uh that leaves uh there's a pre-prep pocket right here for an outside table if you want to add one so they give you a place to store a table as well as an extremely large front pass-through baggage compartment here all of this fun by the way wrapped up just under 6300 pounds so this is very much within the realm of half ton towability how you doing ma'am I apparently have an admirer. Um, the windows here, frameless bonded windows. That means that we do not have uh, seals to contend with. All the uh, the seals are hidden under the window pane, so it's not that we don't have seals. It's just that we, uh, you know, they're they're hidden under the window pane so that they are um, away from the sun and the the wind and the rain and all that that we just experienced here. The ladder here because we do have a full walk-on roof that uh, it uses Jayco's Magnum Truss roof system. That is a full plywood deck with extremely thick uh, rafters under it. Again, lightweight construction varies greatly from one brand to the next. Jayco vacuum laminates, they do not pin roll. Pin rolling's okay. It's just okay. It's fine. This is good, this is better. That's what I like about a Jayco. It's again, why they have twice the warranty. They just use better products, better stuff. Um, if you see this little bracket on the back of a camper, that's a dead giveaway that this trailer does include a bumper mounted grill. I do try to uh, make the pictures reflect the actual unit. I try to really, really hard to update our listing to make sure that everything matches. And I'm sorry if the wind's hitting the camera. It's, it's pretty bad today. I'm doing my best to shield it for you. Uh, we have added the glacier package to this one, which does enclose, insulate that underbelly for good extended season camping. Um, in this season, White Hawks are including this little outdoor TV bracket right here. Your indoor TV is mounted uh, within the spinning enclosure. Um, you can remove it to put it on here if you want. That'd be a bit of a chore. Uh, probably best that you just get a second TV to mount on here, but they do give you the bracket. And you see that it just quickly and easily releases. You just kind of put it on there, lock it in place, and now it's good. Now it's not going anywhere. Um, they're you know very easy, lightweight things to deal with here. They're using a wide axle spread stance suspension system. Long story short, that's giving you better stability while you're going down the road. Um, even your door here, let me set this bracket down. Even your door is a little bit better. What if, I told you it's windy, what if the wind kicks up and gusts? Well, I threw that door and it just really, just barely bonked the sidewall. I can heave this thing, I can 
smack it and it doesn't fly shut. You can be very, very, very friendly with this door uh, without worry of it breaking. Plus, the door's wider. The entry door is wider in a Jayco. It's uh, extra two or three inches wide. Let me set this right in here so I don't forget it because I've been prone to do that and then I step on it and then I'm sorry. Um, stepping inside, we have easy access control panel right here and you see that all of our lights are just on one big light switch bank or uh, uh, on one switch rather the whole bank is on one switch they're all leds and they're all very easy push button operation very bright extra large elements to give you extra illumination um now here's the other really cool thing i was snooping around a new one the other day and went huh what is that and i reached up here and bang full accent lighting above the slide out and it it adds a lot of illumination in here with that indirect lighting not to mention it does look good it's a very very residential touch i like it a lot so um we've got a full deep slide here which is another area where white hawk is different from a lot of lightweights a lot of lightweights are are 18 inch deep slides not 36 inch this is also a floor flush slide out not an above floor slide you're going to get about two extra inches of clearance in the slide as a result uh, this does have a full hide bed right here. That's a fold-out memory foam sofa, not an air bed. By the way, this color scheme here, this decor, is known as shadow because it sounds mysterious. But <laughs> but uh, it's just a, it's the darker leatherette. There's twilight, which is lighter leatherette. Then there's coffee, which is a mid-tone, um, medium brown uh, fabric. So those are your three different color options. Again, I'm not going to record this video each time a different color comes in, just to give you an idea. Um, easy storage pockets under the dinette, so it is very easy to get to all of your storage here. And actually, storage is a word you're going to hear me virtually wear out through this floor plan, because they do put a lot of it in here. I love this right here. This could be a pantry. This could be linens. This could be uh, towels, blankets, sweatshirts. Now, over here, you have a similar thing going on. You have another floor-to-ceiling giant closet. But if you look a little closer, you're going to see that this shelving is actually removable. You can do anything you want with this. That's why there's a hanging bar in here. You can make this an extra closet if you need to. It can be whatever you want. Um, the refrigerator in a White Hawk standard is an 8 cubic foot. Most lightweights, and I mean most, are 6 cubic foot. There's nothing wrong with that. This is just 33% bigger than what other people offer standard. And most lightweight brands don't even offer you the upgrade to the E8. So standard, this is better than what a lot of people will allow you to upgrade to. Uh, your kitchen storage in here is great. I love the fact that we have this level change and depth change. It's very three-dimensional. It's very modern. It's very cool. Not to mention the fact it's also very large and very functional. There's a lot of varies involved here, is I think what I'm getting at. So we've got a dinner plate, basically. And uh, we've got tons of space going on in here. You're not hurting for storage space in this cabinetry. Plus, the styling on these doors is very sharp. Like I said, I really like the three-dimensional nature, how they put their cabinets together. This is not a wallpaper back here. This is a real backsplash. Those are actual raised little tiles there. Um, great storage going on here. Four of these big full extension pull-out drawers. They have some awesome, awesome storage going on here in this kitchen. And they're all ball bearings. They're all full extensions. Easy open, easy close. And they stay locked shut. You see how I had to kind of push them shut a little bit there. The sink here uh, is around the extra large countertop. You're going to see extra counter space here in this Jayco. And that's very common in your Jayco models. They are very, very user-friendly and functional. The skylight above the kitchen here is an odd uh, ad that we put in here, and that's giving us a lot of extra ambient light, so we don't necessarily have to kill the lights in here. By the way, um, the uh, the AC systems in these are just a little bit higher grade. They have a little bit better ducting. Um, you're going to see other brands with the same size air conditioner. We've uh, put thermometers to our units, basically, and our Jayco's just get colder and stay colder. They just do. Um, good bathroom back here with direct bathroom access from the outside of the camper, and that's a nice thing. We've also got a porcelain stool, not a plastic one. Porcelain compared to plastic. Plastic will save you money, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not saying one's better than the other, they're just different, and they each carry different advantages. And that's kind of the whole point of this video, isn't it? Every trailer has different advantages, and I'm, I'm trying to point out the ones here in a White Hawk. So, plastic stool will save you less money. It might be a slightly lighter weight. Not enough to matter in my view, but that's my opinion. Um, porcelain is higher grade. Uh, it's, it's sturdier. It's going to last longer. It is non-porous, meaning 
the uh, the the actual material doesn't have little nooks and crannies where bacteria and water can sit there and germinate and uh, uh, you know be become like a petri dish. It can't have mold or um, odors or things like that. It's easier to clean too. You can use some really harsh scrubbers and abrasives. I like the little handle they've started adding here so you can help climb yourself to this upper bunk. And again, each sleeping space has its own cute little night light right there. Both bunks have their own lights, or pardon me, windows that do open for ventilation as well. Spinning around here, I really do like that accent light. That is sharp. It's one of those things that when it's off, if you never knew about it, it'd still be okay. And it's cool that it's there. It's not a make or break thing, but that's kind of the funny part. Virtually none of these things I've shared with you individually are the make or break feature that drives you to a Jayco versus Brand X. It's the fact that there's so many of these things. And most of this stuff is stuff you're going to use every day, like a better grade power awning, like the shoe garage down here. That's not a big deal. If the camper you were looking at other than this one had everything except that shoe garage, I'd say it's fine. But it's all the little stuff. The shoe garage is going to keep you from in this big pile of shoes by the door, and you will, trust me. Except now you don't have to, because we have this handy little feature. It's the simplest stuff. These are uh, equipped with all Furion electronics, TV, all-in-one AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth system. Say that three times fast, I bet you can't. And uh, outdoor speakers. Furion's just better great electronics, guys. It's, it's better than the stuff you put in your house, because it's made to be in a camper. It's made to be shaken really hard because this thing bounces down the road really hard going down the road this is what it looks like it, it looks like crazy um you know the uh um cold heat and cold can affect electronics so they use better electronics here and um you know in your jaycos they do take the time to fully finish off every area of the coach and this is also a cool way to look at the cabinetry this is not stapled this is not glued this is pocket screwed in place so this cabinet, it, it can't wiggle. It can't fall apart. You know, I mean, you're going to have to really work that thing to make it to fail. Could you? Theoretically, yes. I have seen it happen with some serious effort, though. So, uh, moving up in here, a couple things. We've got Denver Mattress brand bedding, Denver Pillow Top Bed. Anywhere you sleep in a Jayco, they spend more money than the next guy. Period. They just do. Both sides of the bed don't just have... Uh, stands with electric outlets. They also have little pockets back there. Perfect for like your phones and stuff. On this side of the bed, which is slightly bigger over here because the mini fridge is under there, or the or it's ready for a mini fridge. Either way, keep that in mind. You will also have USB outlets up here in the bedroom next to your household plugs. Gigantic closets on on uh, this side is a little bit bigger than the other. But notice that they're shelved again. If you don't bring a lot of hanging clothes, I don't tend to. I don't usually use my hanging rods. I don't need them in my camper. But uh, this is something I could seriously benefit from. That would be really, really, really handy. Even if it was, in my case, I go on short weekends, I could put clean clothes, dirty clothes. Just something that easy to get it out of the way would be really, really nice. Um, now you got to see my hands. How you doing, guys? Josh, the computer guy. Hey, RV. Pleased to meet you. Um, so, like I said, there's a lot of cool things going on here. Every camper is really cool. Every camper has neat things. But do the other guys take the time to show you all these differences? Probably not. And I can say that with a fair level of confidence because of the volume of sales that we're seeing and the number of people who come in and say, I was going to buy Brand X, and then I saw something you had, and you guys showed me where it was okay, and then there was something better. You know, I'm hearing that on a daily basis now with these little tours. So we got to be doing something right, and our sales records prove it. We are the largest independent RV dealer in the entire state of Michigan, guys, which is uh, one of, if not the, very top state uh, at any given point for RV sales. You know, we're, we're, we're serious players in this market. We like to earn your business. We do it one trailer at a time, and we want to earn it the right way. And we're trying to put the best foot forward now before you even pick up the phone. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Hale at RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Thank you. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.